Well, rapping, I just used to do it as a hobby, but my man Jazz, as far as it being a business, you know, he had to deal with EMI. He introduced me to the whole thing as a business. Like, you know, I was, we get paid for this. You know what I mean? And go overseas and record and whatever. You know, so he introduced me to it as a business. Mm -hmm. And you also have your own label. How did you decide to start your own label? That came about from um, just seeing the frustration that he was going through. You know, people at that time, you know, I used to be around Kane, seeing his frustrations with his label. And, you know, the whole thing with jazz, you know, the way, you know, I wouldn't say his record company was lying to him. They just wasn't telling what he needed to know. They was taking advantage of his inexperience to the business and, you know, him being brand new, coming like straight from Mall C projects right into a corporate, you know, world and him not understanding, you know, the business side of things. I say they took advantage of him, you know. So that right there, I just, you know, I, I watched and I just learned and I watched. So when it was my time to come around, I just wanted to just capitalize off it. It always takes somebody else's mistakes for you to figure out what the hell you're supposed to be doing with your life. And this is no different. I know a lot of y'all in the comments be talking shit about Jay-Z. And the shit gotta stop, man. When this man's gone, like, it's gonna be a huge loss to our culture. And y'all gonna be listening to these interviews and watching these clips. You're gonna be reflecting on all the things that he actually did. This man's the first rap. Well, he's not the first. But he's a rap billionaire. Shout out to Dr. Trey. Well, you... Maybe Jay-Z is the first rap billionaire. I don't know. I don't feel like looking that shit up. I was about to go on a diatribe. It's a long ass intro. Well, I ain't talking about shit. My ducks, my swans, welcome to the pond. My name is Dorian from group A2music.com and right here we got Jay-Z talking about how he learned the music business. Jazzo was Jay-Z's mentor. Jazzo was from Marcy Projects. Jay-Z is from Marcy Projects. Jazzo had a record deal very early on and he was the one that showed Jay-Z you could actually make money from music. There's a well-documented story with Jay-Z where he talks about that Jazzo had a shoot for a music video in London. He took Jay-Z with him and when Jay-Z was gone, that is when the police came and raided where they was that every single day and his friends got locked up that day and had Jay-Z been there with his friends he would have gotten locked up as well and he wouldn't be the Jay-Z that we know today. So Jazzo is somebody who is huge in the Jay-Z story. You have to learn from other people's mistakes and there's a lot of stuff with the backstory on Jazzo and what his label was doing what they weren't doing and they didn't really understand rap and they would show up for in-store promos and the album wasn't there and all that stuff but this caused Jay-Z to learn the business trial by fire. And when he started seeing things go wrong with him and his first record deal, he said, you know what? I'm gonna just do this my own and I'm gonna start Rockefeller. And he ended up signing a joint venture with Def Jam. You have to learn from other people's mistakes. Jay-Z learned from Jazz O's mistakes. We're learning from Jay-Z's mistakes and everybody else in this industry. This is the reason I post these clips. This is the reason I post every single day. There is no reason for us to be making these massive mistakes anymore. There's no reason for us to be signed over our masters. There's no reason for us to be signed over our publish. There's no reason for us to be having bad royalty splits. There's no reason for us not to be marketing our records or not knowing marketing strategies. There's too much information out here right now in the information age with Instagram and with YouTube that you are sitting around and you're making the same mistakes over and over and over again. How many videos have we posted where people have been disgruntled with their labels, where they weren't making any money, where they were constantly getting ripped off? Do you want that to happen to you? That's just some shit I'm not about. I'm never gonna be about that. I'm always going to want to get my money. In the music business, there's no other business where you can 100% do every single thing you need to get your product out there right from your own home at any given moment. I got my MacBook Pro right here. I got my microphone right here. I got my interface right here. I got a camera right here. I got a whole television studio right here that I'm filming at 2.24 a.m. and I'm gonna distribute it through YouTube and through Instagram and that's gonna make me money. And I could do the exact same thing if I decide I want to do music tonight as well. No other industry can you do this like this and make residual income for the rest of your life. I own the masters to all the stuff that I'm creating right now. So why aren't you putting out as much content as you possibly can? You don't have to go through a record label anymore. You don't have to get screwed out of your publishing your masters anymore. You can do everything right here with setups like this or in the palm of your hands. Some of y'all know how to record and mix and master songs on your damn iPhone. You niggas are some goddamn Godzilla geniuses, nigga. Y'all need to teach me that shit. 
If you have the gifts to be able to do that shit, why aren't you doing it? What are you waiting on? Jay-Z was able to build himself up from a nigga in Marcy Project. Let's show the, show the picture of, uh, of Jay-Z when he had the gold and the fucked up teeth. He was really young. He was able to build himself up as a nigga like that to the billionaire that we know today without hardly any of the technology that's at our fingertips right now. What's your excuse? Why aren't you putting out music constantly? Why aren't you making content constantly? Why aren't you engaging with your fans every single day? What's holding you back? I really want to know. Write in the comments. If you're on Instagram, write in the comments. If you're on YouTube, write in the comments. I want to know what is holding you back from engaging with your fans with content every single day. If you're somebody that is engaged with their fans with content, you ready to take your career to the next level? Instagram, click the link in the bio. Purchase more packages for 60% off. YouTube, click the link in the description box. Purchase more packages for 60% off right now. I'm out the pod. Y'all stay true. Group82music.com